Hello everyone, welcome back. I am alive. Um, I, a lot of stuff's happened and like not a lot at the same time. I'll get into life stuff in a minute. Um, but this is going to be my whip parade for 2022 um, and then kind of plans for 2023. And I'm going to try to start getting back into doing videos regularly. Um, mainly the reason that I kind of stopped doing them was I think my last one was around the time that me and my boyfriend both got COVID. And that just kind of like ever since then <laughs> my motivation for stitching was just gone for most of the year so I didn't get a huge amount done um, and I am one of those people where if I don't get a lot of progress done I don't really feel comfortable making a video basically showing nothing so that's the main reason I wasn't really making videos um, so yeah if, if you're new here my name is Bridget um, I live in Vermont currently we're hoping to maybe get out of here Maybe in the next year or two. Fingers crossed. I'm originally from Maine, so I've been in New England my entire life. I am sick of the snow, though, so if we could get out, that'd be great. Um, I have been with my boyfriend for seven and a half years now. Um, you know, he's most likely going to be my life partner. We don't intend to get married, though, so... Or we probably would be by now. We don't have any kids. It's just the two of us. Um, and our three little fur babies. We have one cat, which you just saw. Her name is Cloud. And then we have two ferrets. We have a male and a female. Zoro is the female. And then Takami is our male. And they're all around the same age. They're all about between like two and three years old. We got them all. I believe all three of them we got in 2019. Takami we've had the longest. We got him like early 2019 and then um, the cat we've had the least amount of time. We got her about a month after we got our female ferret. And we want to get more more pets. Uh, we want another cat. We want another ferret. Uh, he wants a dog. I'm not really a dog person but he wants a dog. He also wants a, a like a cockatoo. <laughs> we are currently renting but we're hoping like our goal for the year is to save up and buy a house, put a down payment on a house. If that's in Vermont, then you know it is. If it's not, it's not. Um, we're not tied to this area. Uh, I currently work as a bartender at an American Legion. I've been there about a little over three years now. He is a head chef at a restaurant in Montpelier, which is the capital of Vermont. And I am in my last year, thank god, I'm in my last year of online college. I am going for my bachelor's degree in business administration with a concentration in accounting. Um, I just started my new classes for 2023. I had about two weeks off at the end of last year for the holidays. So I'm getting it back into it, back into the swing of things. I'm trying to be a better student. I'm not a terrible student. But my uh, time management is not great. So I'm, that's my goal for the year is just to be better with my time. Be more organized. So far, it's been going pretty good. It Today's the 6th uh, of January. So six days in, I'm doing pretty good so far. We've been trying to be a bit healthier as well. Like eating healthier, going to the gym more. I'm, I'm not in shape at all. I, I might look skinny but I'm not in shape. So we've been going to the gym a few times a week um, and we started that like at least a month ago. So it's not like a New Year's resolution thing. We've been trying to do it for a little bit and I'm not really seeing much progress yet. I'm sore <laughs> all the time, but you know, maybe in like a month or two, see some progress. Wouldn't mind getting some muscles on me. Other than that, I think um, our lives are pretty much the same. <laughs> I don't think anything else has happened that I can think of anyways. Uh, we got a car. That's one big thing. We haven't had a car for a while and we finally got a brand new car. I don't have a license personally. I am working on it, but I don't have a license. Um, 
but we just got a car a brand new 2022 mazda 3 um and it's amazing it's white though white cars in you know northern states they don't work out too well because they get muddy fast so but it was the only color they had or you know we probably would have gotten a different color but it's been great i love having a car it's amazing <laughs> um All right, so I think that's everything. I think that's everything going on in my life. I can't think of anything else. So, I am going to go into my whips first. If I have pictures, I have no idea if I saved pictures from last year. I think I did, but I'll put I'll put them up. Um, and if I don't, then sorry, but you'll see my progress. <clears throat> I have one new start for 2022. And then I have um, one that I'm going to talk about later. I'm not going to talk about it yet. So first, I have two that are still on a Q-snap. Um, and I'm just working on them so I'm not taking them off. So this is the first one. This is Epic um, Pokemon Generation 1. I very recently finished this page and then I've worked on this about oops I've worked on this page for about two days now so that's two days worth of progress and I'm very happy with it very very happy with it so this is the second row of pages so I'm gonna be like I think I'm around like 30% done with this pattern <clears throat> next one on a Q snap is a uh, fairy dancer is that heaven and earth designs um I don't remember the artist I will have to insert that so this is the beginning of the third row I believe um and I I just I didn't get much progress done on really anything um in 2022 I just didn't stitch that much so I will tr if I have a picture I will insert it. I hope I do somewhere. There's that one. This next one is my other uh, Heaven and Earth designs. <clears throat> This is Deer Creek. So I've said before that I do prefer working on this one to Fairy Dancer. Because this one, I, I feel like I'm the opposite of a lot of people. A lot of people, I think, hate confetti and prefer like big blocks of color. I'm the opposite. Um, I get really bored with big blocks of color. I preferred working on confetti this one has a lot more confetti in it than the other one so I just enjoy working on this one more yes so I have approximately cuz I'm doing it diagonally um, I have approximately like two pages done on this bottom this third row so I'm around in the same spot for both of them I don't I don't remember how many pages either of them are maybe 24 something like that um and I'm about in the same spot as one one of them's like slightly bigger than the other one I don't remember um and I've said before I've talked about this before I'm doing these for my parents this one's for my dad and then the fairy one is for my mom so I'm trying to get them done around the same time I would love to get them done this year not gonna happen but I'd love to do it all right, moving on. This is probably not going to be a super long video. I don't have many whips. I'm not one of those crazy whip people. <laughs> so I have like one more. <laughs> um, yeah, I only have four whips. So, and then I have like two more things to talk about and then I'm done. So this is not going to be a long video at all. Um, all right, so the next one is my biggest, my longest 
one. Um, I don't know when I started these. I have the record somewhere. I know I started this one in 2017, and I believe I started the two other Hades, um, maybe in like 2019, something like that. And then Pokemon, I, I no clue, no clue. Maybe 2017 as well. I don't start stuff too often. And as you can tell, I love my full coverage. So this one's huge. And this is um, Fantastic Voyage by Amy Stewart. Heaven and Earth Designs. And it is the Supermax color. And I'm doing this one over one. Oh, don't ask me about fabrics either. I don't know. Um, I'm doing all of them on even weave except for Pokemon that one is on Ada it's just on plain like basic white Ada the rest I, I do prefer even weave to Ada so I believe I only have one more page I'm pretty sure and then I'm done with this first row and I've been working on this for, for like five years <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> this is going to take me a million years to do. Will I ever be finished? Who knows? Like, that's approximately how big it's going to be. So, who knows? I'm not even going to bother folding that. <laughs> so, I did have one start. So, my one very small start is Pirate's Booty by Ship's Manor. I'm not making it into a pillow. I like piratey stuff. So, you know, I'm kind of like a, I feel like my style is like emo gothic nerd. <laughs> so, as you can tell, nerd, Batman, and then, you know, yeah. <laughs> so that's how much I've done. Not much, not much at all. Teensiest amount. But hey, progress is progress, right? So, that's everything. Um, my plans, however, I'll talk about my plans for 2023. I want to get work done on all of these. So, I will have six whips. I'll end up having six, six whips. Um, so, and I want, I'm just going to work on like one of them straight for a week and then rotate another one straight for a week, another one straight for a week. I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm not going to worry about pages. Normally I would work on one until I'm done with the page or like a, a stopping point, a good stopping point. Um, I'm not going to do that though. I'm just going to work on it for a week and then see how much progress I get done and then move on. I'm not going to stress myself out about having to finish the page. Um, and I'm going to have one start in 2023, and that is going to be the Epic Storybook Princesses from Clouds Factory. That is like the huge Disney princess one. I, I'm a huge Disney person. I love my Disney princesses. Um, and I have not started it yet, but this is the fabric that I'll be using. I think I've showed this before. It's gorgeous fabric. And it is coastal by Picture This Plus 28 count and it is a uh, linen I'm surprised I got a linen I don't, I don't really like linens <laughs> did I mean to get a linen I don't know so yes and it's it's huge it's a big one I did originally want to get one with um opalescent in it but I couldn't find one that was a good blue that worked for me and needed to be the size that I needed it to be and had a blessing in it and was affordable um because this is 36 by 54 this is big this is a big one um they would have been expensive I don't have a lot of money so you know I can't really be spending a ton of money on fabrics that's also one of the reasons why I don't have a ton of whips is because I I don't spend a lot of money on this kind of stuff. I don't have a lot of money to spend on this kind of stuff. So, you know, I liked that 
I think that's one of the reasons why I like getting big ones because they last me forever. Like, yes, it's an investment when you first do it, but then you have it for years, many, many years. Um, like, I have, I do have a full DMC collection, and that cost me a good bit of money. I had to buy it in chunks. Um, but now that I have it, like, once you have it, you have it. And replacing some of the threads is not really difficult. It's so if, if you are interested in getting a full DMC collection, just buy like 10 at a time or something like that, you know? I think I was buying um, 50 at a time. I think I bought 50 at a time. And, you know, did a good like in little investment in that. And then waited a little bit and then did it all. Because it definitely spent me, or it definitely cost me like over 100 bucks um, or something like that. So, I mean, that's it. That's really all I got for you. I swear to God, like every other whip parade video I've seen so far has been like at least an hour long because everyone has like 20 whips and I only have five. So, yeah, this one's shorter. But I'm gonna try to be really good about keeping up with doing updates monthly. Mainly, I just really hate editing. Um, and I'm not good enough to be able to do these in one take. I need to stop. My, my throat's like killing me. I need to stop and take drinks and stuff. Or I like mess up my words and you have to edit. Or my cat's just being a dick. Um, so yeah, and I'm also going to be doing videos on my like monthly reading goals and what I've been reading. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> so yeah, I know a few, I've had a few people, you know, ask me when I was coming back. So here I am, I'm back. Um, and I love that, you know, some people have stuck around. I feel like the full coverage community on Floss 2, I don't see it. Like, it's not huge. Or at least I don't see it. Maybe I'm missing it. But that's my, my thing. I love full coverage. So, you know, if you have any great recommendations for full coverage Floss tubers, please let me know. I... It's, it's my passion. It's definitely my passion when it comes to stitching. And stitching is basically my only hobby. Besides like playing video games. So. I'm going to leave this here. I hope everyone had a great new year. I hope everyone has a great January. And happy stitching. Bye.